Prepare for a grand historical adventure as Ridley Scott, the acclaimed director of Gladiator and The Martian, brings to life the iconic French conqueror in his upcoming epic, Napoleon. This highly anticipated collaboration between Scott and Apple Studios, starring Academy Award-winning actor Joaquin Phoenix in the titular role, is set to hit theaters on November 22, 2023. How will Ridley Scott portray Napoleon Bonaparte and his enthralling relationship with Empress Josephine? As the excitement grows, let's take a look at what we know about this ambitious project and what can we expect from this exploration of Napoleon Bonaparte's rise to power and turbulent love affair with Empress Josephine. After delivering two films back-to-back -back in 2021 with The Last Duel and House of Gucci, Ridley Scott has another film set to hit theaters later this year, one that will reunite him with a familiar face. Napoleon, Scott's first collaboration with Apple Studios, will be a historical action epic centered on you guessed it, French conqueror Napoleon Bonaparte. While it has been announced that fellow film legend Steven Spielberg is developing an HBO limited series based on the famed Frenchman, Scott's film will be released much sooner. Here's everything we know so far about Ridley Scott's Napoleon. When will Napoleon appear? Napoleon will be released on November 22, 2023, during Thanksgiving weekend. The film will be released on the same day as Disney's animated fairy tale Wish. That being said, it's entirely possible that the film will premiere at a film festival before its theatrical release, and we'd not be surprised if it shows up at the Venice Film Festival in late August or TIFF in early September. Napoleon, where can you go? Napoleon will have an exclusive, wide theatrical release beginning November 22, 2023, following in the footsteps of another major Apple Studios release, Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon. For the theatrical release, Apple will collaborate with Sony Pictures Entertainment. The film will eventually be available to stream on Apple TV+, Plus, but no release date has been set as of yet. Is there a trailer for Napoleon? There is currently no trailer for Napoleon as of the time of making this video, and it's unknown when it'll be released. If we had to guess, we would say we'll not see any footage until late summer at the earliest. Apple, on the other hand, recently revealed a sneak peek from Napoleon at the WWDC 2023 event. The footage has not been made public, but it appears to show Napoleon Bonaparte on a ship. The trailer also included an official image from the film, giving us the first look of Joaquin Phoenix in the title role. Who stars in Napoleon? Oscar winner Joaquin Phoenix plays Napoleon Bonaparte. This will be the actor's first collaboration with Ridley Scott in 23 years, following his role as Commodus in Gladiator, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor, his first nomination. Phoenix is well known as an actor who recently wrapped production on the sequel Joker, Folie à deux, in which he'll be joined with Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. He won his first Academy Award for Best Actor in 2020 for playing the title role in Todd Phillips' Joker, and he recently wrapped production on the sequel Joker Folie à deux, in which he'll be joined by Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn. Phoenix was also nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor for his performances in Walk the Line and The Master. Phoenix is best known for his role in Ari Aster's absurdist black comedy Bo is Afraid. Oscar nominee Vanessa Kirby plays Napoleon's wife, Empress Josephine. Cody Comer, who appeared in Scott's The Last Duel, was cast in the role but had to drop out due to scheduling conflicts caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. Kirby rose to prominence as Princess Margaret in the first two seasons of the Netflix's The Crown, a role that earned her an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress in the Drama Series. Kirby is known for jumping from prestige fair to big Hollywood blockbusters, and she was a major scene stealer in Mission Impossible Fallout, The Fast and Furious Presents, Hobbs and Shaw, and she will be reprising a role from the former film in this summer's Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Her performance in the drama Pieces of a Woman earned her her first Academy nomination for Best Actress. Other cast members involved with Napoleon include Taha Rahim as Paul Barras, Ben Miles as Colin Court, Ludovin Sagnia as Teresa Cabarrus, Matthew Needham as Lucien Bonaparte, Yusuf Kerkor as Marshall Devote, Phil Cornwell as Sanson Deboro, Edward Philipponat as Tsar Alexander, Paul Rees as Tally Rand, John Hollingworth as Marshall Ney, Kevin Spokes as Molens, and Mark Bonner as Jean Andoc Juno. Rupert Everett and Ian McNeese are also on the cast list, but in undisclosed roles. Who is responsible for the creation of Napoleon? As previously stated, Ridley Scott will direct Napoleon, making him the latest Hollywood legend to collaborate with a streamer. Scott is a revered filmmaker in the industry with a large portfolio of hit films. He's been nominated for four Academy Awards, three for Best Director on his work on Thelma and Louise, 
Gladiator and Black Hawk Down, and one for the best picture for The Martian. He was well known for his work in a variety of genres, including Alien, Blade Runner, Prometheus, Hannibal, and American Gangster. He's currently filming Gladiator 2 for Paramount, which will be released in theaters on Thanksgiving weekend 2024. Napoleon's script was written by David Scarper, who previously collaborated with Scott on the 2017 film All the Money in the World. He also co-wrote the screenplay for Scott Derrickson's 2008 remake of The Day the Earth Stood Still and co-wrote the 2001 film The Last Castle. His most recent projects include writing several episodes of the Amazon Prime video series The Man in the High Castle. Scott and Phoenix co-produced a film with Kevin J. Walsh, president of Scott Fee Productions and Mark Huffman known for The Northman. Raymond Kirk, Aidan Elliott and Michael Pross serve as executive producers. The film's cinematography is handled by Academy Award nominee Darius Wolski, while the score is handled by Emmy-nominated composer Martin Phipps. The film is being edited by Academy Award winners Claire Simpson and Sam Restivo. Before landing at Apple, Napoleon was previously being set up at 20th Century Studios, but the studio dropped out after their deal with Scott ended in late 2020, prompting the tech giant to finance and produce the historical epic. What is Napoleon movie's plot? Napoleon will follow Napoleon Bonaparte's rise and fall through his tumultuous relationship with Empress Josephine. The official plot synopsis for Napoleon via Apple Studios reads, Napoleon is an original and personal look at Napoleon's origins and his quick, ruthless ascension to the throne, as seen through the lens of his addictive and frequently volatile relationship with his wife and one true love, Josephine. Napoleon's famous battles, relentless ambition and astounding strategic mind as an extraordinary military leader and war visionary are captured in the film. The film was originally titled Kit Bag before being renamed Napoleon in January 2022. When was Napoleon's film made? Napoleon's production began in February 2022, with filming taking place across England. Filming was completed in May 2022. Napoleon, with a star-studded cast led by the incredible Joaquin Phoenix and supported by the talented Vanessa Kirby, promises to be an enthralling cinematic experience. Ridley Scott's skill at creating visually stunning and emotionally resonant epics, combined with the historical intrigue surrounding Napoleon Bonaparte, creates an enthralling journey into the mind of a military genius and his passionate pursuit of love and power. As the release date approaches, audiences all over the world are eager to see this extraordinary story unfold on the big screen. Well, that's it for now. Make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews and upcoming movies from us. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one. Thank <laughs> you.